Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard, and today I want to show you one of the newest features, which is custom invoice lines. Um, so first we're going to go here to invoices, click that there, and now we're going to click here to create a new invoice. Um, so now as you know with invoices, uh, you can have this little menu here that shows your, your invoice items that you use often. However, there are probably times when you want to create an invoice and have a one-time item, just something that you're not going to use in the future again, um, but you don't want to go here and create a new invoice item and then wait for it to load and then uh, select it in the menu here. And so that uh, this feature is actually going to fix that where you can now create invoice items on the fly. So we're going to send this invoice to Kelly Abrams. Um, we'll put a message here saying, thank you for your business. And now in the drop down menu here, you're going to select custom. And when you select custom, you're going to see that all of a sudden these two fields appear right here, which say name of custom line one and the price. So let's say we're going to do something like uh, de skunking because uh, one of our dogs got sprayed. So we have a de skunking. And the price is going to be $35. And there was uh, one dog, so it's $35. We'll go to the, down to the next one here. We'll create another custom line. And let's say we want to do um, belly rubs. These are just kind of made up things, so you can see how it works. Uh, the price for these is $24. And now we gave two belly rubs. So now you're going to see 48 just appeared over here. So you can see it's calculating the price times the quantity. Uh, and now we're going to create that invoice. And it's creating, it's creating, it's creating. And there you have it. You can see that here's the invoice for Kelly Abrams. De-skunking for $35. There was one of them. And then belly rubs for $24. There was two of them. And that for $48. And so that is how you use the new custom invoice feature. Um, one of the things about this feature is that once you create the invoice itself, you cannot go back and edit these because they're not going to be saved in your database. Uh, they were created one time and one time only. And so if you want to redo this invoice, you need to delete this invoice and recreate it um, because it's not saved for future use, these uh, invoice items. But other than that, I hope this feature uh, helps you run your business a little more smoothly. Uh, and once again, thanks for using Doggy Dashboard. Bye-bye.